Can you tell that I'm filming this at 10 o'clock at night? Hopefully not. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be testing a very viral product that I have not quite seen anything like before. This is completely unsponsored, it wasn't gifted, I purchased this with my own money and I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts because I've seen adverts for this saying that it can literally plump your lips and the pictures that I've seen, it literally looked like the woman had lip filler. This is Colette, co-founder of The Inky List. Are you ready to join me on my journey over the next four weeks to get these lips hydrated and get these lips plump? So I did it four weeks using our tripeptide plumping lip balm and the results for me have been phenomenal. <laughs> Look at that. So I immediately bought this when I saw the advert. It says the Inculus Tripeptide Plumping Lip Balm, which helps to plump and hydrate your lips, but it doesn't have any kind of tingling in it. It doesn't have any chili. It literally says on the side, no tingle. And it says it's clinically proven to plump your lips in two weeks. It does say results may vary, but on the side, it says it's got 6% tripeptide complex, which visibly increases lip volume over time for plumper looking more defined lips and 2% ultra filling spheres. They could honestly write anything on this packaging. We've probably believe it. Deliver hyaluronic acid within the lip to plump, retain moisture and help to fill fine lines. No fragrance, vegan cruelty free. Let me show you my before. Forgive me if my makeup looks a little bit dry. I've had it on all day and I've just powdered over everything. But these are what my lips look like before. These are my natural lips. I've not had any filler. I currently don't have anything on them. I don't have any lip balm or anything. This is just naturally how they are with me licking my lips. They do naturally get quite dry. So closed mouth, slight smile and big cheesy smile. Do I have anything on my teeth? Probably because I just ate my dinner, but and then from the side. I ordered this off of Look Fantastic. I got it on next day delivery. I think it was 10 99 and then I paid like five quid to get it the next day because I wanted to start filming this. It says on the back, plumping results, no tingle. Lips are the thinnest skin on your face, so it's important to avoid products that irritate the area as they can compromise the barrier and dry the skin out. At the Inky List, we start our healthy lips, combining the results of cosmetic lip plumpers with skincare to help maintain the barrier and retain moisture. And it says to apply to clean, dry lips for best results, use consistently at least three times a day. And it it does say you can use it on your own or over colored lip products as a glossy finish. So I guess just that three times a day count as if I wear this over the top of lipstick because I will definitely be switching out my gloss and using this instead. I'm gonna try and stick to that, but obviously if I start noticing more noticeable results and don't feel like I need it three times a day, then maybe I won't, but we'll see how we go. So this is what the packaging looks like. You get 10 mil of product in here. So I wonder if after two weeks I will have used this all up. It's quite firm. Like you have to squeeze quite a lot for it to come out. This is the consistency. I'm assuming that's gonna be enough. More than enough, hopefully. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh my God. Oh. So it says that it's fragrance free. To me, it has like an ever so slight scent and it tastes a little bit weird. Like it tastes a bit kind of Vaseline-y. I don't think it has petroleum jelly in it. And it does have that oily kind of taste. Do you know what I mean? Like it just tastes a bit. I think next time I put on a little bit less cause I did put on quite a lot there, but it really melted into my lips. Feels super slippery. It's not sticky at all, which hallelujah, I thought maybe it'd be a bit sticky. It's definitely very shiny and glossy. So these are my lips immediately after I've applied it. I don't see like a crazy difference straight away other than the fact that they do look a bit plumper just because they're moisturized, you know? And again, slight smile, big cheesy smile, and then my lips from the side straight after applying. So I'll keep you posted. We'll see where this goes. See if my lips actually get plumper. And if this works on my lips, can I use it on other areas of my face? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. See you in a bit. This is maybe my fifth time applying this today. It just feels so good. Not really noticing any differences yet other than my lips feeling very soft. It's literally like 30 degrees today and my makeup's been all day, so please ignore that. However, I just want to give a little update. Today is the end of day two. I've got to say, wait, where have I just put it? So far, I have been carrying this around with me. Wherever I bring my phone, I bring this with me because then I know that I'll always have it. I need to get like a little pouch on the back of my phone that I can just like pop this into so that I don't forget to put it on. But for the past two days, consistently, I have been, I've maybe put it on like five times a day. And I don't know if this is a placebo effect and I'm starting to think a little bit crazy, but when I I looked at my lips earlier on in the mirror, I was like, I feel like they do look a bit plumper, but I think they're just more hydrated. I mean, that's what this claims to do. It's supposed to hydrate your lips, which obviously makes them look plumper. Like, especially when I was brushing my teeth this morning, I was like, you know what? They definitely do look like they're a tiny bit fuller from hydration, like not as wrinkly as they were before. And I have to say, I've got used to the taste. I can't really taste it anymore when I first put this on. Maybe it's because on the first day that I put this on, I put on way too much. You do only need a tiny little bit. So I'm thinking maybe I've put too much on at first because like now that I'm wearing this all the time, I kind of don't even notice that there's a taste or a smell. But I just have the lip balm on previously. I did have some lipstick on earlier through the day, but then I had a McDonald's. So that is fully worn away now and I've just got the lip balm on. But yeah, what are we thinking? Mouth closed, small smile, big smile. 
from the side. What is that red thing over there? Oh, it's a can of Coke. <laughs> Oops. Obviously, it is only the end of day two. I first started putting this on on the 5th of December. Today is the 7th. We'll see how we go for the next week. This is the current date and time. I'll probably update you in a few days. Hello everyone, it is currently the 11th of September. It's actually James's birthday today, but I just wanted to film a little check-in. So I started putting this on on the 5th of September. Today is the 11th, so it's been six days. I've just reapplied it again. I've still been reapplying it at least three times a day, I would say, because basically any time that I feel like it's worn off, I will just go to my bag and put it on. I do feel like I'm getting through the product, which I guess is the only downside. I mean, there's still a good amount left, but we'll see how much is left at the end of the two weeks. I don't know. I'm not. 100% sure about the whole volume difference thing. And I'm trying to hold my lips like as neutral as I possibly can and not like pout them, but this is what they're looking like. And then when I smile and then teeth smile, I do feel like it's kind of doing something, but I will really have to look at the pictures of my lips before because I don't know. At the moment, I feel like they're looking ever so slightly plumper and yeah, they're feeling good. It feels so moisturizing. My lips are feeling so soft at the moment. I don't think you would look at me at this stage and be like, she's had lip filler and I don't think it's giving the lip filler effect. If anything, they just more like look more plumped and I'm probably gonna repeat myself a lot during this video, but this is the update after six days. What do we think? Then these clips were taken on the 17th of September. So I was about two weeks into the process. Here are some really nice up close, not very nice shots of my face, but I was on holiday at this point and James was watching a video in the background, so I didn't talk through it, but I wanted to update you. Watching these clips back, I do think my lips do look very juicy and hydrated, which is good. So today's date is actually Monday the 2nd of October, and I think this is actually the date that I'm probably gonna be uploading this video because I just needed to film this final clip and add this in. Can you see that? Monday the 2nd of October. I actually only intended originally to review this for two weeks and test it continuously over that time. However, I went on holiday, I got a little bit distracted and and caught up with everything else that was going on. We've got some catching up to do, which will be my next video, which I will be filming probably tomorrow. However, I continued every single day for the past almost four weeks now to use this. The thing that's slightly annoying is that tomorrow would have been exactly four weeks to the date. So I'm technically three weeks and six days, but I did originally only set out to do two weeks, so whatever. And this is what my tube is currently looking like. It is definitely feeling lighter and I have got through quite a good amount of product, but I did think that maybe after applying this three times daily, even for two weeks, maybe I'd run out of it. But there's still a fair amount of product left in this tube, which is good to know. This has been in my handbag, it's been in my beach bag, it's been everywhere with me and it is looking a little bit um, squished. It's kind of tricky to tell because obviously there is some air in this tube, but I would say maybe I've got like a quarter or a third of the tube left. Let me just give you a close-up of my lips first and then I will explain all of my honest thoughts on this product. In terms of my makeup, I've just got on some concealer and I've done my eyebrows, but I intentionally didn't want to put any like thick foundation around my mouth or obviously any other lip products. This is literally just with the balm on my lips. So these are my lips after four weeks just talking. Open mouth. Small little smile. Cheesy smile. <laughs> Speaking from the side. I forgot to mention at the start of this video that my lips are naturally very uneven anyway. One side is bigger than the other. Maybe what I should do in the future is just put this on the smaller side of my lips because I definitely have a bigger side and a smaller side. Reviewing all of these photos over the past four weeks, I honestly can't see that much of a difference. The main difference that I've really noticed in my lips is that I don't seem to have as many lines in my lips when I continuously use this. To me, looking at the photos side by side, they do look ever so slightly pump, pump, plump, and they do look a touch more juicy. But I've got to say, comparing my results to the results that were in the initial advert, I don't see a drastic difference in my lips. And I said to James, I was like, I've been testing this lip balm for the past few weeks. Do my lips look any bigger? And he was like, not really. So if there is any difference in the volume of my lips, it's not obvious enough for other people to tell and it's not as obvious as that initial advert video. I was expecting some crazy results from that. However, when I went back and watched that advert, it is so clear to me now that when she's talking at the beginning of the video, I don't mean to out the inky list. And I will say, this is a nice lip balm. I would repurchase it. My lips feel amazing when using it. They felt so soft. It's not a sticky one. And my lips do feel plump and juicy and hydrated. And it's like everything that you would want in a lip balm other than the slight plasticky smell. That's the one thing I don't like about it. Oh, if they did this, the inky list, please release this in like tinted versions and maybe with like a slight vanilla -y smell or a slight fruity smell. I know that not everybody likes that, but I feel like in my personal opinion, I know that the inky list is a lot of kind of basic ingredient products and they don't do like fragrances. If there was a subtle kind of vanilla scent, I think that would be better than 
nothing. But oh my god, imagine this in a tinted version. It would be gorgeous. And it's a very nice lip balm, and I don't mean to out the inky list. However, I am going to be fully honest in my opinions. And in my personal opinion, in the advert that went viral, which I think was posted by their founder, in the beginning clip where she says, I'm going to be trying this lip balm, she's speaking like this, and she's kind of like, Okay, everyone, look at my little lips. Like, she's really smiling, like, and kind of tucking her lip under, in my opinion. And then in the after pictures, she's like, wow, like, as you can see, there's such a difference. And it's like really, really pouting her lips. So it looks kind of a lot more dramatic than it actually is. And I know that there is science behind this and technology, and it's got some great ingredients in it that are clinically proven to plump your lips. For me personally, I didn't really see that much of a difference in terms of like the size of my lips. In terms of the more moisture and the hydration of my lips and how they feel. They felt so soft and so hydrated and I have not had any dry flaky lip skin in the past few weeks that I've been using this at all and my lips do get quite dry so I really like it for that reason. But did it give me lip filler in a lip balm? No. But that is everything just from my personal experience. Obviously there are other people that have tested this. I've seen some other people that have used it on TikTok and they do seem to have more dramatic results than I do. I think it's reduced the lines on my lips and my lips do feel plumper but I wouldn't say that they look drastically bigger. But I don't regret buying this. I have really enjoyed it and I will definitely continue to use it and I would repurchase it because I think it's a really nice lip balm if anything. And compared to a lot of my other ones, this one doesn't make my lips feel like I keep needing to apply it if that makes sense. When it sort of wears off throughout the day, my lips just feel soft and supple and nice. Whereas I find that some other lip balm brands, that I'm not going to mention any names, they kind of make your lips dry out and then you feel like you keep needing to apply it and then your lips get like dry and crusty when you don't apply it. I don't find that with this. Um, it's a really nice lip balm. So I hope that helps. That is my honest thoughts on this lip balm and obviously everyone can have different experiences just because something has not worked exactly as the ad said for myself. Doesn't mean that it can't work for other people. I do think there was a slight little wee bit of sneaky marketing with the Inca list, but overall as a brand, I do really like them. I like some of their other products, like their skincare products are really nice, but those were my honest thoughts. But let me know what you think. Can you see a difference in my lips? And also, has anybody else tried this and have you seen any drastic results? I would love to know. If you did enjoy this video, please give this a thumbs up and I will be back very soon to talk all about the engagement and I will sit down and answer some of your questions which I asked for on Instagram. I'll tell you like the whole story and everything. And also I just wanna say as well, thank you so much to everyone that has sent us really kind messages and it's just been so sweet and so nice since we announced on social media. Um, yeah, it's just been, it's been a really lovely few weeks and everybody's been so kind. So just wanted to say thanks and I will be back soon. And in the meantime, I hope you guys are good. Let me know if you've tried this down below and let me know your thoughts. And if you like this kind of content, then feel free to subscribe. Why did I do a thumbs up? Thumbs up and subscribe. That would be amazing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.